because sometimes it just feels like the world's gone mad. But at least, at least football makes sense, right? And, but Everton's in first in the Premier League. And Lille's in first in France. And Leipzig is in first in the Bundesliga. And Sociedad is in first in La Liga. And AC Milan is first in Syria. Well, actually, that one makes sense. The world's gone mad. <laughs> Hopefully things go back to normal soon. Shut up and sit down. What's the story, people of the internet? In this time of madness, I'd like to bring some normalcy to the world. And uh, here is my weekend preview. So I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing for two videos. Um, today, uh, this one video is going to be about Friday and Saturday, and then the next video is going to be about Sunday and Monday. Um, I know it sounds a bit silly to do this on the second video, but I'm going to review a couple of the matches in the Europa League because there were a couple of upsets. Um, but the first video, there's just so much football to get through, so uh, I'm going to jump right into it, get through that, and then on the ne next video, I'll start by doing a little bit of a re Europa League review of a couple of the matches. So. Um, into the Premier League, we've got Aston Villa versus Leeds. Um, I can see this being a very interesting match. I mean, Aston Villa obviously just killing it at the minute, beating Liverpool 7-2 and then winning 1-0 out last time as well. Um, they're be starting to become a, uh, a team to really stand up and watch at the moment. So, um, so I can see this being quite a good match. Leeds, obviously not a team to sniff at after their start to the season. So, um, I think it's going to be quite high scoring. Uh, Rodrigo versus Oli, uh, is it Oli Watkins? Yeah, Rodrigo versus Oli Watkins match right there. Um, Jack Grealish versus Rafinha. It's quite a few good Calvin Phillips versus Ross Barkley. Quite a few good matchups there. Big John McGinn, the Scottish uh, Hullet. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how everything goes. Um, but. I think Aston Villa's going to take this one. I think they're just going to continue their form. I think it's going to be a 3-2. I can see it being a high-scoring game. Um, that one is on Peacock um, at 3pm on Friday. Um, the next game is West Ham versus Manchester City. Um, West Ham have had a bit of a resurgence recently. Um, they've they beat Leicester 3-0. Um, they came back from the dead to level with Spurs, a 3 all, and to spoil Gareth Bale's homecoming. Um, I, think, I think City are going to have a hard time with them, um, just like they did against the aforementioned Leicester. Um, I think City's still going to ultimately come, come away with it, maybe a 4-2 or a 3-2, something like that, but I can see West Ham causing problems for them. Um, so it'd be interesting to watch and see what happens there. Um, that match is also on Peacock. Um, Fulham versus Crystal Palace. Um, I mean, I don't want to be awful, but there's not a lot to say. <laughs> I think Palace is probably going to come away with this. I think they've just got a little bit more class, ultimately. But um, Fulham have had those moments where they've really shone through. It's just that those moments have been few and far between, unfortunately. Um, this match is on NBCSN. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Fulham a boost. I think they're going to come through this because it's a derby. It's a London derby. Um, Fulham, I'm going to say you're going to win this. I'm going to say that it'll be 2-1 to Fulham. I think they're going to do it. Mitrovic with two goals. Um, on to the big one in the Premier League anyway. So, Manchester United versus Chelsea on NBC. Um, this is at 9.30 Pacific time. Um, it's on NBC and Telemundo, sorry, as well. Um, United will be rocking after the victory against PSG and also against the come, uh, with the comeback against Newcastle last week. Um, Chelsea will sort of be licking their wounds after not, not finishing the job last time out. Timo Werner scoring two, but uh, still ultimately getting a three-all. Um, so, and after the nil-nil draw with Sevilla in the midweek, um, they'll want to come out fighting. But I think that... I think it's going to be a very interesting match. I think it's going to be a very free-flowing, very open match. Um, 
I'm trying to be unbiased, but I think United's going to win this. I think, I think, I think I'm going to say it's going to be a two-one. I think, uh, I think it'll be Rashford, and if he starts, I think Cavani scores. If he doesn't start, then I'm going to say Pogba. Let's just say he gets an outside of the box screamer. <laughs> so. Um, I think for Chelsea, it's probably going to be Timo Werner. I think he's going to continue his form. Um, and then the final match is uh, Liverpool versus Sheffield United. Um, Sheffield United have been struggling, unfortunately. Um, I think Liverpool's just going to be too strong for them. I think they're just going to continue and just go from strength to strength. Um, I really hope that Sheffield can get their act together and get to the form that they had last season. But just the way they've been playing this season, I think Liverpool are just going to be too strong for them. Um, I think this is going to be a 3-1. Uh, and I'm being really optimistic, giving Sheffield even a goal here. Um, although, if there was a time to play Liverpool, it's a time when they've got Adrian in goal. They don't have Virgil van Dijk. So, you never know. I could be proven wrong. But... Even with a patchwork defence, I think Liverpool just have still got a little bit too much quality for Sheffield. Um, so that match is going to be on Peacock as well. So, I don't know if you can see my sign properly, but I've got a couple of other um, big games to go over. I'm going to go over um, two of them that are on Saturday, and then uh, the others are on Sunday and Monday. So, um, we've got Dortmund versus Schalke. The Riviera derby um, should be a very interesting match. Dortmund had been playing well, but then lost to Lazio in the middle of the week. And then Schalke have been going from strength to strength as well. So um, I can see this being a very, very tasty match. I know that these two teams really don't like each other. I remember watching a YouTube video, I believe it was from the channel Copper 90 a couple of years ago, and uh, the two teams are very, very... Uh, <laughs> Very, very crazy towards each other. Um, it's a shame that there's not going to be fans because the stadium does rock when uh, when these two fans are together, especially um, at the uh, Signal Aduna Park. Um, it really is a shame that the fans won't be allowed here. But uh, hopefully there'll be as many fireworks on the pitch as there are off the pitch. Now, the next match is Barcelona versus Real Madrid, El Clasico, which unfortunately I didn't put on my board. I don't know what I was thinking there, but let's just say it was too big of a match to go on the board. <laughs> um, Real Madrid have been struggling recently, um, losing over the weekend to a newly promoted team and then losing to Shakhtar Donetsk at home. They need a result or else Sedan is going to be in trouble. Real Madrid does not accept this amount of failure. And so especially in a season where they're trying to kick on and win the Champions League. It just does not bode well. And especially with Sociedad, Sociedad being top of the table, it's just crazy what's happening in the in La Liga at the minute. But then again, at the same time, Barcelona's not doing much better. Yes, they beat Ferenc Varos, but it's Ferenc Varos. They lost to Getafe over the weekend. So I think this is going to be... Not the most classic of El Clasicos <laughs> because of how much these two teams are struggling. Um, and it is a shame because they have produced some moments of brilliance um, over the years. Um, unfortunately, with the departure of Ronaldo, it's not been the same. So um, I think Barcelona, just because of their recent form, is going to edge it. Um, Unfortunately, that means I'm going to hear so much from the Messi fanboys, but <laughs> I have to give credit where credit is due. I think Barcelona is going to edge this one, um, and Real Madrid are going to be in a world of trouble when that happens. So um, maybe they'll be glad that there's no fans there because uh, the uh, Real Madrid stadium does not... Uh, does not sound very good when the fans aren't happy. So, as Gareth Bale can tell you. Um, so yeah, I think Barcelona's going to edge this one. So there's Friday and Saturday. Um, I will be, as soon as I finish this, I'll start recording the second video, which is about the um, Sunday-Monday matches. 
and also a review of a few of the Europa League matches as well. So, um, so yeah, I hope everyone is staying well, keeping out of trouble, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Ta-ra for now. Thank you.